Baby boy is recovering at Shriners Hospital tonight. He was found scalded at a local daycare. As his burns slowly heal, his parents are left wondering how this happened. Local 12's Angela Ingram is at Shriners Hospital tonight with one version of events and whether the family's buying it. Angela. Well, Cammie, the family says they have received inconsistent statements since this whole thing unfolded. They say initially they were told that the baby was on the floor. He pulled on a cord and somehow a crock pot tumbled over him with hot water in it. Then they were told that the baby was in a high chair when the accident happened. They say regardless of exactly how it happened, this baby has suffered tremendously. And they say their child and all of those other children deserve better supervision. Jim County now, one more is your emergency. Monday morning, a 911 call came from Cornerstone Child Development Center at Christ Chapel in Erlanger. A 10-month-old boy had pulled on a crock pot of scalding water that usually sits on top of this refrigerator to heat bottles. The actual director calls me and says that she is in the ambulance in the front with my child and that everything's okay and that she's there for him. What Monica Moreland saw at Children's Hospital was far from okay. She asked us not to show her baby's face, but you can clearly see the baby boy bandaged because of serious burns. I, I will never wish that on a mother. I mean, it, it was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my entire life. The boy has first and second degree burns over 20% of his body. To see, you know, a, a baby, um, dependent on other people to take care of him in that situation because of neglect. Um, it's, it's infuriating. Today, the family was back at the daycare collecting the baby's belongings and asking questions. They say they've been given inconsistent statements about what happened. The pastor of the church tells me he's not talking about the incident to the media right now, but perhaps in the future. Okay, take right. care, sir. Right, bye -bye. Bye. Moreland and her family wanted to talk publicly because they're hoping it doesn't happen again. That it just may be swept under the rug and, you know, a few weeks, a few months, you know, another child could be as seriously or more seriously injured. And for the fact that I'm paying someone to watch my child for more hours out of the week than I'm with him, you better be taking care of my child. End of story. And the family does not know how badly the baby's uh, burns are at this point. They say they don't know how deep those burns are, but they're looking forward to Monday when the doctors will remove some of those bandages and see how the wounds are healing. Reporting live tonight from Shriners, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cami, back to you. So, Angela, are police investigating? Have there been any charges or any word of that? At this point, no charges from law enforcement. There is a police report out there, but there is an active investigation going on, and the pastor says they are investigating internally as well. All right, Angela Ingram, thank you. And as Angela mentioned, the pastor did say the staff members are wa uh, walking through the internal procedures and the family services is investigating. Okay.